First of all, I know you see this really cool sweatshirt. If you take anything away, yikes. <laughs> Hi, again, this is Josh. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, before we even start the video, go ahead and subscribe down there. If you want to see other cool videos like this, maybe informative, not just for about dentistry, but about other things, go ahead and leave a comment and leave a like while you're here. Today, we're going to be talking about the DAT. For all of my pre dents I know around this time, you're probably applying. Um, or at least thinking about applying. Right now, it's also probably a good time that you're looking to take your DAT, or at least you're studying for your DAT. Um, so right now, it's probably a really good time to start at least studying for it. I figured I'd, I'd at least talk to you about what to expect on the DAT, um, and how maybe you should study, how I study, give you some experience, and what got me into dental school too. On the real DAT, there's technically four sections that you have to worry about, but in reality, there's six sections. So you have the natural sciences part, which is just biology, general chemistry, and organic chemistry. Um, you also have the perceptual ability test, um, and then you have reading comprehension, and then quantitative reasoning, which is just like math. It is a five hour and 15 minute exam. Uh, however, if you just breeze past the tutorial, it's just five hours. Um, I'm mad I said five hours, like that's not a long time. Uh, five hours is actually a long time. <laughs> so the breakdown of the DAT, I'll put like the breakdown here. The natural sciences question has three subjects inside of it. So it has a biology, which has 40 questions, and then general chemistry and organic chemistry, which are both 30 questions. Um, after that, you do have the PAT, which is the perceptual ability, and then you have that brief break. So in my opinion, I suggest that you would, that you do take the entire break. You know, obviously you'd pack some snacks or something like that. Um, but I also think you should take that entire break and maybe not rush the DAT because keep in mind, this is an exam that's going to determine if you get into dental school or not. I know when I was taking the DAT, at least in the beginning when I was studying for it, I was like, oh, this is so easy because it was all stuff that I heard before, like in college and undergrad. And then like those other subjects came and... Yikes, it's basically safe to say is yikes. You also have like the reading comprehension, which honestly I am horrible at reading and I'm horrible at quantitative reasoning or like math just doing it in your head straight up. Um, Cause the type of math that they had on the DAT was like, oh God, it was, it was ridiculous. It's, it's really important to realize what your weaknesses are and what your strengths are from the get go. So you can kind of focus on that from the beginning. When I was studying for the DAT, I, like I just said, I knew I am horrible at reading and I am horrible at uh, quantitative reasoning, at least doing quick math in my head, like, like going, going, going. My DAT was originally in April, but I had to reschedule it all the way to August because of COVID. So I was like completely screwed over at the, in that moment, but Honestly, it worked out for the best because it was just more studying time and it was good because those practice exams were not looking in my favor, <laughs> like at all. Um, but if you want to take the DAT, oh my God, if you want to take the DAT and you want to be a dentist, you better save up some money. Let me tell you, dude, it was so much money to pay for this exam and, for, and to pay for study materials, especially for somebody. First of all, let me tell you all something, okay? I am not a genius. I'm not. Okay. I had to grind to get the scores that I got. But let me tell you, the exam for the DAT is $495. $495. And there ain't no discount code on that. There ain't no first timers discount code. There ain't no... There ain't no promo code. I can't even give you something as a YouTuber. Everybody kind of has to get some type of study material because you know you do what you have to do to get the best kind of scores. And think about it. If you were to not get any study materials and you were to get one score, even if it was good, you are probably gonna think, you know, maybe I could have gotten a higher score if I had gotten some type of study material at that point. So just get the study material people. Okay, just spend the money, save up your money, get a job. Do what you gotta do. But let's talk study material. First of all, here's what not to do. I know you hear the, I know you hear the stacks. Do not, I repeat, do not make flashcards. Do not make flashcards. Unless it's like a, unless it's like a Quizlet or something, then totally do that. If that works out for you, do that. But if flashcards work for you, 
do not do this. This is this is ridiculous. Okay, absolutely ridiculous. The the flashcards weren't expensive, but the time that I took to make them, and the time that I took to actually study them was not worth it, like at all. So I made I made these type of flashcards for um, organic chemistry. These are like the reactions that I had to study, and I put like the type of reaction that it was. If this was like a regular like a regular question. The other side would just be where the boxes are at and I would just show where the reaction was. But let me tell you, this took me like days to make and like a whole roll of tape, first of all. Like that was, that was it was so invasive. And I wouldn't recommend doing or making a bunch of flashcards at all. I made of all these flashcards for organic chemistry, every single, um, every, every single chapter for bio, every single one. I made flashcards for every single one because it worked for me in undergrad, but it did not work for me here. I was at the end of it, I was so exhausted. This is one chapter. I would definitely recommend using DAT Bootcamp or DAT Destroyer. I just used DAT Bootcamp in the beginning. The really cool thing about both of those programs is that you can basically just print them out. I made this little binder. Um, it was an old binder, that's why it has my name on it. Um, but I made this really cool binder that has all of the chapters from like DAT Bootcamp on here. So like this was organic chemistry. Um, this one was all for like biology. This was a little bit of biology here. These actually helped me out a lot because these were pre-made lesson plans made by DAT Bootcamp that had the actual notes for from the lectures you could just fill in the blanks for. Some of them were filled in, but some of them you did have to fill in the blanks like practice questions and stuff like that. I did, you don't have to make like a binder. I made a binder because first of all, I love binders. And I feel like that's me being an adult. This is me adulting right now. So the thing about DAT Bootcamp is that not only do they print that out, but they also give you PAT practice, QR practice, as well as reading comprehension practice. Also, the thing about the DAT is that the PAT section is counted as its own little section and it doesn't count towards your total score. However, it is really important to score really well in this section because a lot of schools will count that separately in your application. Something that I also did get was DAT Destroyer. It mostly just had practice questions for me to practice whenever I wanted to. And you see how big this book is, first of all. This book was great, honestly, for practicing too, because it definitely had the hardest, absolutely the hardest type of questions I have ever seen. And the questions weren't nearly as hard on the DAT as it was in this book. But the fact of that is, that made the DAT like a hundred times easier. So something to really consider when going through your DAT and studying for your DAT, honestly, just keep a good attitude at the end of it because it is so easy to get burnt out. And for somebody that studied for little, from literally January all the way until August, it was so easy to fall into like the deepest slump. When you're studying for the DAT, just keep in mind how far away it is and how closer you're getting to it and that's and to keep yourself fired up honestly especially when you're considering applying to dental school just always keep in mind that it's not over until it's over if you take anything away from this video just know that the last day of studying or the day of your exam you're probably going to feel like you're not going to know anything you know everything and anything you stayed up till 3 a.m studying for this exam you drank your pounds of coffee. Okay, you did what you had to do for this exam. You're gonna kill it. I'll go ahead and post my own study timeline below in the description box. Um, if you wanna look down there. My exam was scheduled for like 3 p.m. I think it was. Um, so I went and got breakfast with my family, um, which was kind of nice to kick the pressure off. So the lady called me like way before my exam. We're talking like 10, 11 a.m. And she was saying that my seat was actually ready to take the exam. And at this point, I'm just like, she said I didn't have to, but I could have if I wanted to. And at that point, I was just like, you know what, forget it. Like, let me just take it. Like, let's just get it over with at this point. So I, I had went in and taken my exam. And let me tell you, I was sweating bullets. I'm so nervous. Right in the middle of my exam, I was like right in the middle of the reading comprehension section. And this lady comes and she sits like right next to me. 
like in the cubicle right next to me and I'm like, oh poor lady, you're going to get like a whole bunch of stench right now because I've sweated so bad. In the end, the reading comprehension section went fine. I mean, I did, oh, I did fine, honestly, but I just felt so bad for the lady. I feel so bad for the lady because she was like standing right there next to me. So the really different thing about the DAT and something that's really different from the MCAT is that once you finish that last question in the QR section, your unofficial scores will load right then and there immediately. Maybe your uh, computer will take like a few seconds, like maybe five or 10 seconds, but then it'll load your unofficial score like right then and there. And I didn't know that with taking the DAT. So I thought they were gonna like print it out like outside and I'd find out like outside of the little soundproof room. But literally I was like, once I finished the exam, I was just like, oh, like I'm finally done with my DAT, like it's over. And then like I had looked up just to stretch. And when I had looked back, my exam scores were like right there. And I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> like, I was like, what the heck? I was like, what is this? I was like, I was freaking out. I mean, honestly I did well. So like I was, I was totally okay with it. But like, imagine like looking up and like stretching and like thinking that your exam's over and then looking back and you're like, what the hell? <laughs> like, what the heck? What the heck? So yeah, but those scores will load basically immediately, like right then and there, and it'll just pop up. It's not gonna give you any, it's not gonna give you a countdown or anything like that. Don't expect that. Like your scores will load in three, two, but like, no. If you're taking it in like a few months when you're watching this, good luck. I know you're gonna do great. You know what you're gonna do great. Have that confidence. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe, leave a like, and let me know what kind of videos you wanna see in the future, whether they have to do with Dell School or something else. But until then, I'll see you in the next Brian video. Little. <laughs>